Okay, let's move on to the rest of the 1966 Get Up and Go cars. First, let me introduce you to another brand new series, the GTO. That's right, the GTO is now a series, not an option. There's a distinctive front end with Grand Prix type parking lamps standing out on the grill and a special rear end treatment featuring a wide six lamp horizontal tail lamp design. For stop and turn signal indication, three lamps on each side light up. Wow, what a car. It's gonna get a big play from the younger set and from those who think young, too. You know, she's 100% right. This GTO is going to take the public by storm. But so is the Tempest Custom and the Le Mans. All series appear slimmer and more graceful. The clean, simple side treatment with the lower belt line suggests a sports car flair. There's nothing boxy about these styles. And the windshields of all coupes and convertibles have more rake or slant to give a lower silhouette. All the roof lines are new, particularly on the coupe. The recessed rear window is striking, a complete breakaway from conventional design. It'll capture the fancy of every prospect that walks in the showroom. Another feature for all sport coupes are the new thin windshield pillars. You can see that the sharp new Strato seat is available as an option in this series, too, as well as the Le Mans. It's almost exactly like the seat in the Pontiac, just slightly narrower. Here you can also see the reclining seat option. This option comes with left and right hand headrests, by the way. And for the driver, there's a new rally gauge cluster option. The young people are going to like that one. The GTO is going to attract a lot of attention this year. Under the hood, a 389 cubic inch V8 engine with four barrel carburetor is standard. As I mentioned earlier, you can still get a triple two barrel carburetor option if you wish. The new Energizer with the I indicator is standard on GTO too. Now here's some news that'll flip you. Manual transmissions have all forward speeds synchronized this year. Shifting will be smoother than ever. One caution about ordering. The standard three-speed cannot be ordered as a floor shift this year. A floor shift requires a heavy-duty three-speed option, and this is available with a V8 engine only. A floor shift is also provided with a four-speed option and the automatic transmission. Okay, Nancy, take it away. <laughs> 